this is Kelly with Indiana Anchor Plans. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my favorite planning tools. So this is the little container that I have that I keep them all in so that I have them up in the upper um, corner during my videos. Most of these things are always listed in my description, but I will check um, before I post this one to make sure that they're all in there. So I will just take them out. So this is a gummy eraser. I've had this one for a long time. I got it when I sold Stampin' Up several years ago, but I got my daughters at Hobby Lobby. But you can get them on Amazon anywhere. They're only like two or $3. But if you remove a sticker and there's some sticky residue left, then you can just use this on there and it will get the, the sticky residue off. It is awesome. This is just a Pampered Chef pan scraper that I use to um, get the air bubbles out of clear stickers. So you just go over the top of it and um, the Enchanted Planner calls it the sticker squisher. Um, I don't remember what she uses, but you can also use the little scraper that comes with your, um, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette. This is a little pin knife. Um, Kel of a Plan has sold these in her shop. I got this on Timu. Um, it's good for going around um, like uh, intricate um, clear stickers or cutting your washi, things like that. These little scissors come in a set of two. Pull these out. And I'm not sure if these are listed in my description or not, but they're very tiny and pointy. So it'll come, I think it's all blurry. Um, but these are also good for like cutting around paper stickers um, when you need to get into really tight places. These are obviously tweezers. So you use those for a variety of things, laying down um, small stickers so that you make sure that you got them in the right spots, getting um, stickers off of the pages and out of the sticker books. Um, these tweezers I have had for a few years. I found these at um, by the cashier at um, Menards a few years ago. So and I really like those tweezers. Let's see. A clear ruler. I use this to put alphabet stickers on so that you can spell your word out and then lay it down on your page. So you put the edge of your stickers um, and I usually line them up with the shortest notch or the shortest line and then when you lay them down on your paper you'll lay your ruler at an angle and press them all down and then lift your ruler up and then press the rest of your stickers down. Works wonderfully. These are nonstick scissors. I use these a lot. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I think they're just paper, yeah, they're Paper Studio. But you can also get some on Amazon, Walmart, I'm sure. This is a clay tool something. Um, Amber Plans Her Day is the one that started using this, and I like it for getting up clear stickers. I use it, I like it better than the tweezers, but everybody has their own preference. But this is listed down in my description. This is a retractable knife. I got this idea from um, Happy to Plan with Desiree. She started using this one a while back. It's from EK Tools, and I got it from Amazon. This I also got from Amazon. Um, the Enchanted Planner uses one, and I can't remember what she calls it, this, the sticker lifter or something. Um, she got hers from Etsy. Um, I think I got these in a two or three pack. I'm not overly impressed, but um, some people love them. Some people, you know, must not, because a lot of people I've not seen use these. This is a Uniball Signo. Use this for like whiting out small spaces. 
where you use like the actual white out to white out like the um, some bigger spaces. So you can use these to white out like the lines in your planner if you want to do like a, a scene on the bottom or the top and you want to white out the, the center lines, then you would use this. If you have a smaller space to white out, I usually use this. Metal ruler, I got this in three different sizes. This one is the smallest one, but I use those um, to cut washi. So, forgot to pull this out. This is my little cutting board. And I think these came in a set of two or three, but you just lay your washi down along one of these lines and then lay your metal ruler down and use um, your retractable knife and just cut down the side of your ruler or you could use this little one as well and cut your washi if you've got some wide washi that you need to be thinner for um, for your spread that you're working on. These are washi cutters. These two, I just put washi tape on an old credit card or a gift card. Um, this one, this one is in my shop and I've got a couple other varieties as well. And this one says just playing with washi and then it has washi card on the back. The other ones I have are the um, safari theme. And then I've had this for a while as well. This is a, what do they call that? An ice slice. And I got it at Michael's and I've had it since I started planning in 2018. Since I got this, I don't use this as often, but I do still use it once in a while. And it's magnetic. So um, I used to just keep it attached to the back of my cart or the side of my cart when I had the when I use the planner cards all the time. Get all of this put back in here. Put that off to the side. Here are my larger um, non-stick scissors. I got these from Amazon, I believe. Yeah, they're Friskers, but I'm pretty sure I got them on Amazon. Um, these are good when you are cutting like the large, if you've laid down a large um, clear sticker that you need to cut in half, that you're um, going to put one half on each side of your spread, or if you've laid down a clear sticker that you need to um, trim some of it off, these are really good for that. A lot easier than using the smaller scissors to do that with. And then this is just one of those little um, bins that you can get from, I think I got it at, I don't remember if I got it at Dollar General or Dollar Tree, but they were like in a pack of three for a dollar, dollar fifty something. Um, and this is what I use to put all of my little scraps in. This is the one I actually use. This is my, my spare, but, um, comes in real handy to have on your, um, in your planning area to, um, to put all your little scraps in. There are those other two rulers. So this one is a six inch ruler. This one is a 12 inch. And this one is an eight inch. And they all three came in a set. And then the last thing that I have laid out is washi. I love using washi and I have, this is all planty thing, washi. Um, and I've gotten to where grid washi seems to be my favorite. So most of the grid washi I have is hers, but I do have um, a lot of grid washi from Amazon as well. So I think that is all of my favorite planner tools that I use, other than stickers and planners, obviously. Here's another um, 
This is the We Are Memory Keepers Mushroom Punch. Um, these are kind of pricey, I think. Uh, I got this one for Christmas, but I'm pretty sure they paid like around $30 for it. I've seen it on Amazon for $20. Um, but, and I don't have anything, I don't have anything over here. Let me pull this. If you've not, I'm sure if you watch several planner videos that you've seen this used. But if you would um, put, happen to put a sticker over one of the, the holes and you need to repunch it, rather than getting your big punch out, you just line your, um, the punch up and punch. You can do it on this side as well. So that, that is a neat little tool to have as well. So as I look around, I don't, oh, pins. Let me show you the, I have three of these. Zoom in or zoom out. Um, full of pins because I, I just redid my my back room into my planning room not too long ago and I got these at Hobby Lobby and so I've got those little I don't know if it'll let me take them out or not like the little pencil holders from Dollar Tree um I've got those sitting down in here I need another one and I keep forgetting to to get one when I'm there but like these little wire um pen cups I've got two of those in there, and I think I might be able to get a third one in here. I just keep forgetting to pick pick one up to try it. So I've got my, I'm not sure how you say that, A-E-N art pens, and these are dual tips. So you've got the brush tip and the fine tip, and I really like these pens. I use these a lot. Same way with my Stedlers. I've had these for a long time. I really like these. These are Triplus Fine Liner. They're, there's just one tip. It's not, not a dual, but um, I really like these. And then, of course, the Paper Mate Flares. I would love to have these in all the colors. I wish they had um, color names on them so that you could and then have a color list on their website where you could go through and check off all the colors that you have. But they do not. And then these are, I like the Microns really well. This is an 03 and I have an 01 and an 05. And mine are all in black, but you can get them in different colors. Some of these other odds and ends ones I don't use much. I've got more of the, um, the Signo Uniballs in here. Um, and here is a Zebra Click Art. I really like this pen. I got, um, I or got this from a buy sell trade group that I'm in, and I just ordered a set off of Amazon. They had a really good deal on them. It was a pack of eight or 12 for $6.30. And um, so if you are a member of my IIP Planner Supplies and More Facebook group, that's where I post my Amazon deals. So the link to that is in my description as well. And then mild liners, I always forget that I have mild liners. But I see so many of the content creators use them and I think, oh, I need to remember to use those. And most of the time I do not. But I have, um, doesn't say what color set this is. I don't know. But I have this set. Um, not sure what those are. And then I've got a neutrals set and a pastel set. And then I have smaller, oh, these are, it's 
Stabilo, Stabilo, something. I've had these for a while as well. I got these on clearance a long time ago at Hobby Lobby, but these have a really nice tip on them. I like them as well. And I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby as well. And I, I like these as well too. I really like the fine, the fine tips are my favorite, as you can tell. What are some of the, oh, these are another one of my favorites. And you can get these pretty reasonably priced on, um, on Amazon. These are SIPA, S-I-P-A. Um, I was in an exchange group one time, and so we exchanged gifts, planner gifts, and this is one of the ones that she sent me. And um, so I really like these. I'm not sure if they're Chinese, Japanese, where they're from, but oh, it says made in China. Um, and these are basically the same. They're, they're just a different name. These are Ibayam. And um, I've gotten those mixed up. This set didn't come with two black and two green. But um, anyway, these are reasonably priced on Amazon. These, I've not really used these since I got them. But these are also dual tipped. Getting kind of crowded over here. But these roll, it started drying up. So it's got a design. Each one of them have a different design. I wasn't overly thrilled with them. And I can't get that off. Okay, it doesn't want to come off. Let's see if I can get, it's got a fine tip on the other end but that's probably why I don't use them because I can't get the yeah, I can't get the tip off of that one either. So these are not ones I would recommend. Then what are these? These are outline pens. Obviously I've not used these since I got them either. Oh, so these are glitter. They write okay, but they're kind of blotchy. They pool real easy. And then they have the outline around. So, I guess that would depend on your project and why you're using them. I probably would not use them in my planner. I have, I have not used them in my planner, obviously. And these are the dot, um, the dot markers. And these are the Zig Clean Color Dot markers. And I like these too, but a lot of times I forget I have them. These are kind of pricey. So I have a couple other sets in my, um, in my cart on Amazon that I keep watching. Um, but you just... Instead of using bullet points in your planner, you can just do this. But it depends on the paper. Some of the papers, they will bleed through. And then if you press harder, obviously it's a bigger dot. But it does kind of bleed through. Those definitely bleed through. But these, but the when you do light, it's not as bad, obviously. But... And then the fine tip on the other end. And then I've not gotten these out of the package yet, but these are for um, black paper. Or you can use it on regular paper as well, but um, they're made for um, the dark um, black papers that are like your blackout spreads and things. So, 
look around one more time. Other than stickers, I don't see anything else. So that is um, all I have for my favorite planner supplies. So hopefully you found something that um, you didn't know you needed that can help you in your in your planning. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.